We did it for you. Here's what you need to know with Amy and Sean on 1027 VGS. Tropicana has begun. Began today. Uh, this is the, the deal. This is the first shooter drop for Tropicana. Mm-hmm. Uh, southbound 15. You cannot get off at Tropicana. East or westbound. And this is going to be like this for months and months. You get, you're not going to be able to go Tropicana westbound from the 15 southbound for nine months. Crazy. You can't go... 15 southbound to Tropicana eastbound for 18 months. That's going to uh, ruin a lot of people's nights route, I feel like, right? A lot yeah. of people use that. There's, I, mean, I think there's alternate routes. One of the routes I would probably take is uh, Flamingo. And then you get off and you take that like weird exit that gets you to Dean Martin and then underneath the 15 over to Frank Sinatra. Mm-hmm. That's what I would do. But there's, you know, we have the website, 1027VGS.com. Explains everything you get to look forward to. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And coming in about a week, they're going to shut down the entire Tropicana overpass and shut down the 15. Crazy. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, if your kid could use some defensive driving courses, a freebie being offered by Driver's Edge as a half-day program taking place at Las Vegas Motor Speedway next month for drivers 21 and younger. We have a link to register on our website, 1027vgs.com. Oh, boy. Congratulations to the UNLV Rebel Girls and Co. They scored first place in two different categories over the weekend. You let me know about this. Mm-hmm. In Orlando at the College Cheerleading and Dance Team National Championship, they won for uh, the best among Division 1A schools in the hip-hop and da- uh, game day dance competitions. First for the game day dance routine. I mean, we—if you've ever been to a UNLV game, you know the Rebel Girls. Yeah, and um, it, girls and guys, and yeah. it was phenomenal. I mean, I got goosebumps. It was so so good. We'll we'll have to get the whole thing up online because it was just phenomenal. Like they were pumping me up, and it, you know, it's just. <laughs> And it's only you You're know doing eight a o'clock dance. on a yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> really uh, awesome. You remember the plot to Mighty Ducks? Mm-hmm. Obviously, you know Emilio Estevez. He becomes like a, he had a DUI and then he had to uh, you know have these kids and mm-hmm. all the arts. But there was that one kid that came from the other team. But there were they're like the boundaries change and now he's right. not with the bad team. He's a duck, but everyone doesn't think he's a duck. They think he's a cake eater. Whatever the case, that's happening right now, sort of. Uh, CCSD voting this morning on proposal that, proposals that could change the boundaries that determine which high school or which school your kids go to. Mm -hmm. It affects some elementary schools as well. One proposal could have some kids that go to Coronado going to Green Valley. Another could have students that go to Indian Springs or Arbor View going to Centennial. Other changes possible. What a mess. I heard, um, I don't know, because Jaden doesn't go to uh, to high school until next year. Well, this year, holy crap. And um, <laughs> man, uh, and, and from what I understood last year or the year before, you were able for the first time to choose which high school you went to. You were in a, li- uh, a lottery, but you were able to say, I want to try to get my kid in this one, as opposed to just the one zone. And that's yeah. where you go. So crazy. It's, yeah. uh, it's pretty nuts. It is nuts. And it's going to be a lot for sports. If you got friends in one school, and I think if you're like a sophomore, junior, senior, you get to stay. But if you're a freshman this year, then next and year you you're going to have to move. Man. So you make friends. Are you going to make all new friends except for that one kid that's on your street? Like, oh, yeah. I guess we're the two cast offs, huh? Yeah. Fun. Interesting. Uh, Pete DeBoer came back home. Uh, he, former coach of the Knights, now the coach of the Stars. They shut out the Knights for nothing in the Fortress. Embarrassing. Mm-hmm. EJK going to have to lick their wounds for a game against the Red Wings at T-Mobile on Thursday. And speaking of the Knights, Robin Leonard, he uh, filed for bankruptcy. He and his wife at the end of last year. You might be asking why. Well, uh, they said it was upwards to $50 million in debt. I think there was a debtor somewhere in our one company that he owes money with in some other country. He's like, well, I'm not in that country anymore, so good luck trying to get it. But there is a... Uh, <laughs> There's a snake and reptile farm mm-hmm. in Missouri that he owns. It's uh, it's the company is called RL Reptiles. <laughs> Did we were we told about the reptiles when we signed him? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> that should be on a on a like the, CV. Yeah, the the thing that I read he he bought 1.2 million dollars worth of rare snakes. <laughs> it's so crazy, snakes on a plane. I mean. It reminds me of this boy right here. Back here live at the Waterfront Village with my friend, the zombie, Jonathan. You're looking good. Jonathan just got an awesome face paint job. What do you think? I like turtles. (laughs) (laughs) That's Robin Leonard. We had no idea what we signed up for.